We're talking today here about Mukti from 1937, directed by P.C. Barara. We previously discussed P.C. Barara's fantastic film Devdas from 1936. Mukti I intended to discuss when I was doing my earlier retrospective on Indian cinema from the 1920s and 1930s, but I wasn't able to access a copy of the film at that time, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, now I have. Terrific number. The much-celebrated Bimal Roy photographed this film and it is spectacular. I like to think I, I showcased enough of the more, more beautiful screen caps of this film. Screen cap opportunities, I ought to say, specifically. And now, as I did quite often, perhaps somewhat lazily, but they know a lot more than I do about these films, its background and historical context, I shall read out IndianCine.ma's information about Mukti. Bharara's classic adultery story tells of an artist, Prasanta Bharara, presented in the stereotypically romantic image dedicated to his vocation, paying no heed to his scandalous reputation. He paints nude models, and with a cavalier attitude to his conservative father-in-law's chaudhry, demands for good social behaviour. He is married to the rich Chitra, Kanan Devi. The couple are in love, but neither partner is prepared to compromise their ideals. The marriage falls apart. Prasanta concedes his wife's demand for a divorce and goes to the jungles of Assam, where for many years his closest associates are a wild elephant and Jana, Menaka, the wife of an innkeeper named Pahari, P. Malik. He also makes a sworn enemy of a local trader, Nawab slash A. Malik. Chitra marries the millionaire Bipul, Mukherjee, and they go on an elephant hunt. They kill Prasanta's pet elephant. Since Chitra believes Prasanta to be dead, he avoids meeting her, but he is forced to rescue her from the villainous traitor. Prasanta succeeds but dies at Chitra's feet. The film interprets his death as Chitra's final achievement of the freedom she had craved. Barara contrasts the regressive story presented as static and unresolved, both as narrative and performance, with a hyperactive environment that overwhelms the trivial nature of the lead couple's desires. There are many sequence shots tracking through walls, including the justly celebrated psychological opening shot as Prasanta walks through one door after another until he reaches his studio, and from interior to exterior, while nature is exemplified by mountains, trees, wind, and charging elephants. This is one of the first elaborate filmic uses of Tagore's lyrics, with the poet's original tunes, Saha Ranj Rang, Mesa Te Bobe, Ta Bidai Bala Malakani, but one of the film's big hits, Dina Shishi Guma Deshe was composed originally for the film by Malik. What does this title mean, Mukti? It's a Hindi word borrowed from Sanskrit. In English it would mean um, to loosen, let loose, free, release, liberation, deliverance, you know, that sort of thing. Another thing I ought to mention is that I'm viewing the Bengali language version of this film. It appears there was a, this was rather common at this time, an alternate language version of the film produced, not a dub, I believe, another film production entirely for Hindi language audiences, also directed by P.C. Bauer, probably starring him as well as, as this Bengali language version does. The Hindi language version I don't have access to, I don't even know if it's still available today, but this Bengali version very strong film in my view.